Hi everyone, this is Marianne and welcome to my channel. In a previous video, I talked about a B6 size notebook that I can make using the Kokuyo business paper in the B5 size. I will link that video in the description box. But since that day, I have gotten quite a few questions regarding the difference in size between the B6 and the A6. Because in my country, most people, even the heavy users of notebooks, are not really familiar with the B paper sizes, but they are familiar with the A paper sizes. I'm actually one of them. Heavy user of A5 here and the A5 Slim and the A5 Narrow that is in the standard traveler's notebook. And I'm also a heavy user of A4 for my personal documents and my documents for drafts. But the B paper sizes I've heard about and saw in pictures and videos online, but I have never really seen one in person, so I understand the question. Therefore, I thought of making this video to compare the sizes of the B6 and the A6 notebooks that I made and can make for you on order. Here are the two notebooks that I made. On the left is the B6 and on the right is the A6. The A6 has a height of 148 millimeters, as you can see from my measuring tape here, and the width of the A6 should be 105 millimeters, but here it's a little less than 104 millimeters because I had to trim off a sliver from the fore edge of the notebook to get rid of the paper creep. However, any variation of 1 to 2 millimeters is still within the standard paper sizes. As for the B6, the height is 183 millimeters and the width is 128 millimeters. And those are pretty standard sizes for the B6 and the A6 papers. You can even look it up online, but I understand how difficult it can be to visualize an actual dimension when you're just looking at a set of numbers. So hopefully this video is helpful. Now, just to be more thorough in my comparison, let me bring in a piece of paper that is A5 in size. I don't have an actual A5 notebook with me at the moment, but this is a piece of A4 paper, which is folded in half crosswise to make A5. And if you take A5 and fold it in half crosswise, you get A6. That's pretty much the logic behind these paper sizes. I made this B6 notebook by folding the B5 paper in half crosswise and created the B6. And there you have it. That is the difference in size between the B6 and the A6 papers. I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching. Bye.